Rachel had a really good question. Oh, Rachel, we love you, Rachel. <laughs> I'm going to confess that I am totally clit centric, and I know how that happened over the years. It's it seems to be to be the easiest route for the largest number of women, but I always want them to do it themselves. You it, did it yourself. Yes. You never trusted a guy to do it. Well, only a few know how. Like Eric can do it. Well, and the the big deal was with Grant, you know. And Grant could do it. Remember, I had a seven-year marriage to a man that couldn't do anything. Uh, he just was not good at sex. And so I spent seven years doing sneaky marital masturbation, which was legs down straight, arms, your whole body stiff, <gasps> deep Hold your breath, breath, and then and and make a sound. And, and I would beat the shit out of my clip for... A half a minute. Well, you there's frustration behind it. And 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 it was yeah. You know, so then when I got divorced and Grant came into my life, he had this. De I, I will never very delicate. Touch. I will never forget. Always wet, delicate hands, very light touch. <gasps> oh, so that was when I got addicted to the combo orgasm. Well, because when someone's playing with your clitoris, you want the build up. You you. I, there's nothing I love better than when you start arching your back and you're like, no, I want more. And sometimes people come at it with too much vigor. You have to, yeah. It, I, so one of the reasons I always say to women, just reach down, do it yourself. and Because and, oh, you know what feels good. It, and some of us don't. Some of us don't. Some of us, you know, a lot of Some women, of us have a hypersensitive clitoris and we really don't like it touched. Now, here's what we don't know. We have no idea about really female sexuality. No. It's just now beginning to kind of like come out of the closet. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> so she says, you know, do I have a hypersensitive clit or, you know, do I have a, a, a calloused clit? You know what I love her best line? Some women like their sex sandwich, hold the clit or clit on the side. Clit on the side. <laughs> I happen to know that my mother preferred, never had clitoral stimulation. She always came from, from my father's. Now, I also think that there is an element involved here that has to do with circumcised and uncircumcised. I was just going to say that, because I was mentioning as we were talking about what we're going to talk about today, how I love when a guy will jerk his dick on my clitoris. And you said, yeah, but your boyfriend's uncircumcised. And I went, you're right. Oh. It's very wet. It's lubricated. It's very soft. It's not sitting in jeans and getting roughed I'm up. I'm pretty sure that my clitoris is very much like a circumcised penis. It's been around the block. It's had possibly every vibrator on the planet. <laughs> and it's, it, is, it is definitely sensitive. But here's what the message that we want to get across is that not all women want direct clitoral stimulation. I stand corrected. I get carried away. I want everyone to have an orgasm. And I know that the clitoris is the most direct route for most women. There is such an emphasis on vaginal orgasm. As a 60s, 70s feminist, what we had to go through to reinstate the clitoris, it was like a war. We finally, and finally we're we leading the charge, carrying the flag. <laughs> clitoris, <laughs> the clitoral flag. And everybody's going, no, I know, vaginal orgasm, vaginal orgasm, fine. But then for me to have a vaginal orgasm, I had to have a lot of things in place. No, the stars have to align. Oh, oh, oh do they ever? And it's just not as dependable as going for your clitoris. Most women do not masturbate with their vaginas. No. And you know what's interesting? I think that's part of it. You have to see what's most sensitive. The area right above my clitoris on my pubic mound is what's really the most sensitive. It's really the, and, and I really, I love kind of bringing my vibrator up. I don't really go direct on the clitoris ever. I go over to one side. And guys, please. Never pull back the hood. And then go down. I had someone do that. I almost hit the fucking ah! hood. Oh. <laughs> it's like... No, 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 no. So mm. anyway, Rachel, thank you for calling me out. And uh, it is true. And I do acknowledge that w there are many different routes to orgasm. And that nipple sensitivity is part of that for many women. Not for me. Because I never wore a bra. So you see... Oh, I never thought of that. Because they're kind of chafed a little bit, but if you have virgin I am nipples... just learning about sex. Isn't that great? Isn't that why we do this? I am just <laughs> learning about sex. I have to keep going back over my history, and then I listen to other women, and they tell me their history. That's why I love the give and take and the interactivity on the site. It's It keeps it so much um, pure and 
than anything, if we were just pontificating yeah. and yeah. doing a one-way conversation about sex, it wouldn't be the same. We're blessed. Yes. So stay tuned. We're learning, and whatever we learn, we will share with you.